politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, my name is Melaz Milo, aka Fula, and uh, the Buzz UG is the only platform where you get all the biggest stories making headlines in the country. What you got to do, subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Just very soon, by the way, I'm coming visual with all the exclusive interviews. So you don't really want to miss on anything right here on The Buzz UG. Now, one of the top YouTubers in Uganda, Ibra K. Mukasa, has been summoned by Uganda police to assist in the investigations of a criminal defamation case registered against him by a gentleman called Godfather on Facebook. Police says Ibra K. Mukasa must report to Kawempe Police Station on the 20th this very month to provide relevant information relating to the matter under investigation. Now, it's very sad in the gospel singer Grace Nachimira's camp. Yesterday, she lost her sister called Diana. This communication was made through her social media platforms. However, Nachimira says she's happy that Diana has died in the Lord. May her soul rest in peace. Now, yesterday, I did a story about Tamale Mirundi and Kasuku. Uh, very many Ugandans are still demanding that Tamale Mirundi apologizes to Buganda Kingdom. However, Kasuku has finally apologized for having Tamale Mirundi's views via his YouTube channel. But Kasuku says the views were Tamale Mirundi's, not for him as a person. On the other side, Tamale Mirundi says he's not going to apologize to anyone. Now, the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honourable Anita Monk, has returned the 500 iron sheets to the office of the Prime Minister, Right Honourable Robina Nabanja. Speaking during plenary yesterday, the Speaker acknowledged receiving the iron sheets and told the House that uh, she has purchased the 500 iron sheets to be returned to the office of the Prime Minister. I have taken a personal decision as a leader that since it was not allocated to my district, but also the iron sheets were given already out. I have decided to buy 500 iron sheets and give it back. I have sent my personal assistant to take back the iron sheets to OPM. I have taken a personal responsibility. And of recent we've had media talking about iron sheets, iron sheets. I don't want to be ashamed to, the, to Parliament. And I'm doing this for the house. Anita Monk is one of the government officials who benefited from the iron sheets meant for the underprivileged people in Karamoja. Madam Speaker, yesterday the leader of government business was missing here. Even today she is missing. So I wanted to find out if she has already been arrested because she took 3,000 uh, iron sheets. But uh, I want to know, and this is serious, whether the, the leader of government business has not been arrested. Uh, so we, 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 we report to police that she's here because we have a, a, a civic duty. So she's not arrested, she's not a thief, she has not done anything. Now, the opposition cabinet in the parliament of Uganda has taken a decision to boycott President Museveni's parliamentary address this Thursday. The opposition has been communicated by the shadow minister for information, the Honorable Joyce Bagala, who says they cannot listen to President Museveni when political persecutions continue to happen in the country. <laughs> They have also pointed out too much corruption in the country and they say President Museveni unfortunately is not doing anything about it. 
kutulimba nti munnafa alwanyi sangu zinenga sikya aliko abasingize dwe misango ejo kubba sente za munnansi kasita babanga ba Luganda lwe be bantu ba ba kutera nabo narondera dalo muntu asingize dwe musango nga agukiriza nti yabba ku sente za balwadde nata koma kwecho betugobiye nga tuwa subizo kutwa tebereza kubera ne bitereke ebiye simbiza abandi ye basembeza na bafebe ya kwata abamu tebala bika batu gamba nti baba wagonya ne zibalire lwa maiba abalala bavundira embuya mu baraksi abalala bali makomera getumanyi ne getutamanyi wensi yo naye avadda ku protesting abantu covid ne muboge nda nti ne mami seven wali Oyinu genda wanga mamaze kukemela COVID Ezo sende za wako zesa za miwa msoro Zesa wano kole karungu masomero ga UPI Agata ina toileti Mwashi na yagala kujia ku parliament Engudozo naba genda zigala Teri wako hite encha e, Wadja ekolo e, Sende zigendo kufurumi ziwe kolo Zinza kuwa bilion ingata anu wa sejude ya mseven Now the president of NUP His Excellency Robert Chagula Nyusentamu A.K.A. Bobby Wine Has welcomed this decision Made by the opposition cabinet Ababaka ba pali ya menti Obaba kulembe za balala Obaba besambi mseveni Mbawa giri ya dala Ira mpagira buli mkule mbeze kubuli mutendira Okwe samba mseveni well, there you go. Those are some of the top stories making headlines in the country today. And uh, in case you have anything you want to say about these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is uh, Melaz Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.